Hi everyone, this is Ray, or some of you might know me as Tiki with Ray, and today I am in the Bamboozle Bungalow. Hello. And I'm good with... <laughs> Can't do it over. What? It is the Bamboozle, Bamboozle Bungalow. Yes, you got it right. Yeah. That's fine. I got to so many home Tiki bars, I didn't want to say the wrong one. Yeah. This isn't that one, this is this one. Hi everyone, this is Ray, or some of you might know me as Tiki with Ray, and today I am in the Bamboozle Bungalow in Seattle. Tangletown? Would, it be, would this be considered Tangletown yes. or close to it? Close to it. Yeah. It's a little bit north of downtown, but I'm with my good friend Tom, and today we're going to talk about grenadine. And, well, let's back up and let's start from the beginning. What exactly is grenadine? Okay. Grenadine is a, well, a, a, it's a fruit-flavored simple syrup. And the fruit in question is pomegranate, or it should be pomegranate. It's not uh, cherry. Oh, it's not cherry. No. Oh, okay. Uh, All right. uh, grenadine is actually from a French word uh, meaning pomegranate. So, it's a <laughs> <laughs> so if it's anything but pomegranate, it probably isn't grenadine. Yeah. Technically. Uh, that's not to say that there are quite a few things that... Uh, call themselves grenadine that have other flavors in them. I mean... Uh, oh, really? Oh, yeah. Uh, in Australia, I think a raspberry-flavored syrup is used where we would normally use grenadine. And they may, they may not call it that, but they use it as like we use this yeah. in drinks. Um, a lot of the ones on the market are flavored with other stuff. Um, maybe cherry. Uh, uh, maybe artificial flavors. Let me ask you one thing. So when it comes to most of these grenadines, is, uh -huh. the, is the taste usually just kind of one thing that they're going for? Like, obviously the pomegranate and like the sugar. Or yeah. is there a, a mixture of flavors that go together? Um, grenadine, in essence, it, well, the origi originally it was just pomegranate juice, water, and sugar. That was it. That was it. Yeah. And you know, because pomegranate is tart, it's supposed to have sort of a sweet, a sweet tart kind of pull to it. Yeah. So the syrup was... You know, it, yeah, it's it, it's pomegranate flavor. It's, it was yeah. fairly simple. You can do other things to it. Uh, and a, a popular thing I see in recipes online is they add, add a couple of drops of orange flower water to not so you can taste it, it as orange flower water, but is but that what it, this so, is? yeah, sort of open up some floral notes in it that aren't aren't otherwise evident. Orange flower water. Yes. Uh, oh wow, that's very spicy. Oh yeah, you don't use much. It, uh, it or it takes over. Um, I tell you what, I, I got to mention uh, this is a definitely a very clean, a clean looking bottle, Tom. Yes, it is now. <laughs> this thing was filthy before he filled. It's been the cupboard. <laughs> it's been in the cupboard for years. Originally, when they made grenadine, yes. was the original idea to be used in cocktails, or was it a, a different use for it? Um, it was meant for cocktails. Right off the bat, yes. Now, the first drink I probably ever had that had grenadine in it was a Singapore Sling. Hmm. Yes. But is there any other common cocktails that we would know that would, that would have grenadine in it? Tonga Punch has grenadine. Oh, in it. a Tonga Punch has yeah, grenadine. Okay. Yeah. Jack Rose does. It's a, a classic cocktail involving uh, apple brandy, yeah. uh, grenadine, and lime, and that's about it. And I'll tell you what. I mean, my personal opinion when it comes to tiki drinks, I tend to like drinks that are a little bit more punchier, a little bit more sweeter mm -hmm. than the Don the Beachcomber spicy and like absinthe type type flavor profile yes so um like i'm all about drinks that have grenadine in them and stuff like that but not all grenadines are created equal and we have four four different types one's a store brand mm -hmm. yeah brand, which, brand x here which remain which is going to remain and <laughs> it's going to remain anonymous but let's just go over brand x and did you make these other three yes i made the other three this is a ubiquitously available uh store brand you notice it's actually a prettier, brighter red than any of the home batches. Yeah, the other ones... The first thing you see. Everything's well, a different color yeah. red, but... Oh, actually, I mean, like, the, your, your home ones, they're definitely more darker, almost like molasses-looking, yes. as opposed to, like, the grenadine that you'd buy at the store. It's, like, bright red. Yes. But, I mean, even with the store brand, they're still trying to go for the pomegranate taste. Or are they going in, for... In, in theory, yes. In theory. In theory. But who knows how they're coming up with that? Exactly. Okay. You don't know, because most of the store brands, again, even even the like the trade like Trader Vic's grenadine, it's it's artificial completely. Yeah. Cut the color, the flavor. Yeah. Oh really? The <laughs> yeah. whole thing. So they're not they're yeah. not even even pulling the juice from like no. pomegranate. No, some place like like, uh, like uh, BG Reynolds, that's real. That's real grenadine. Yeah, that's it, the real deal. He's got a hibiscus note to it. You know, so they have this floral thing going on, which 
to some extent, this this can also do uh, as well. But yeah, that's made of pomegranates. Now, these are the three that you made. Yes. But you actually used pomegranate. Yes. Itself. Yes. Good old good old uh, palm pomegranate juice. Oh, okay. So you're literally using pomegranate literally juice, juice. Yes. and then the other different things that you added to it. Well, uh, yeah. So where should we start? Should we start with brand X first, and then go and then go up, or should we start up and go down? Do you have a preference? Doesn't matter to me. Oh, well, let's start with brand X. All right. So this is brand X. So let's see how this tastes. It tastes like you know what it tastes like. It tastes like like a cherry snow cone. Yeah, I was, I was getting a whole lot of uh, cherry off that. And it really doesn't taste like pomegranate all that at much. all. It literally <laughs> tastes like cherry. It literally yeah. like this tastes like something that would be over over a snow cone. Yeah, I mean it's not bad. I agree, but it's, it's uh, really really sugary too, though. Yes, very sweet, and uh, it does it does not taste at all like pomegranate. I'd say cherry. Yeah, that was the first thing that hit me. If if you had like Hawaiian Hawaiian punch, yes, and you made it thicker, that's what this tastes like. So what? What? So this, uh, is, this is. Yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. You know? Sitting around drinking syrup. Yeah. So let's what would here. be the next let's, one? Let's uh, let's just pick one. Let's see, it. I'll grab something here. All right. So which one would this be? Oh, do you want to do I know before I try it or after? <laughs> well, let's let's try first. Okay. Cheers. All right. So this, but all three of these you made yourself. Yes. Okay. Drink nothing like drinking simple syrup. So, so it isn't like we're there's someone else that made one of these like man this one's terrible. Yeah, that was John. He made. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> tastes completely different. Yeah, it tastes completely different. And and the word, the word that's coming to my mind is sophisticated. Oh, it's it's a smoother. It's def it's still sweet. Yes, but it definitely is. It's not like, wow, I'm gonna get diabetes now that I drink <laughs> that. One. This is this is a definitely more subtle. So which one is this here? And what's the um, story behind this that, particular? Oh, okay, one? that this one is. Uh, let's see, uh, the batch one bottle. The batch one and bottle. interesting uh, thing is, is the simplest one here. Okay. Yeah. It, this is literally just um, basically a simple syrup made with pomegranate juice instead of water. Okay. And sugar. And that is it. That is it. 50-50. And you're, and, and you're, 50, 50 palm, palm juice and and sugar. And for the record, you, you, you use this for all of them. Yes. I use the same ingredients, uh, you know, for consistency. Now... Is is pomegranate juice essentially pomegranate juice, or is there is there different brands to look uh, out for? There are different brands. There are. Uh, yeah, uh, the first one I tried. Uh, well, you know, this, this was my was this, but it turned out I didn't. I hadn't read the fine print. This one is pomegranate drink. Oh uh, uh, yeah. So it's it's uh, there are other fruit juices and water and stuff, and it's and so it's like oh okay, that's that's yeah. not gonna work. Uh, so you have to read read the labels carefully. Make sure it's it's one hundred percent pomegranate juice. Um, if they've adulterated it or mixed other things, uh, you're not gonna get as good a result. Yeah, and this one, this one says it's wonderful. So you can you, <laughs> you can, believe them. Yeah, you should definitely be able to leave the the bottle. Yeah. So what what's the next um Okay. Well, let's grab a couple more. Let's try this one. This one's still great. I mean, obviously, but I like the other one better. Yeah. Well, what's the story with this one? Okay, this one. I mean, it's this one feels a little more, the first one felt smoother. Yeah. But this one feels a little bit more, there's something else going on with it. Okay. So what's the story with this one? Oh, uh, this one is uh, another technique, and uh, is the recipe starts with, well, the first one, I say, was just sugar and pomegranate juice, equal proportions. Yeah. The second one, I think, yeah, we're talking about batch two here. Batch two is twice as much pomegranate uh, juice, so two cups of the say to one cup of sugar. Yeah. And the pomegranate juice is is simmered down in volume, so it's been concentrated and then made into syrup. So it's actually yeah. it's actually a more intense uh, hit of pomegranate, and it's also been cooked. So oh. it's so you're, part of the difference is a, a, a sort of a cooked uh, flavor versus a fresh juice flavor. That sounds about right. That this definitely felt more deeper. Yes. Yeah. It's a uh, more intense. Yeah. And it should be because it's you made pomegranate juice concentrate before making syrup. Makes sense. There's also a couple of drops of this in there. Not so much you can really taste it. Just again to kind of get a little floral floral note and add, add a little bit of complexity. 
So is this in all of them, or just this, um, no, just that one? It is, so uh, far, it's actually in two of them. It's not in the store one, obviously, and it's not in the first one you tried. Okay, cool. Let's try the last one. Okay. Oh, that's good too. It's definitely it, this is the mildest one, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Yeah. And as opposed to the first one we had. Yeah, well, that's a brighter flavor, the first one. Yeah, this one's definitely, but this one's more subtle. Mm -hmm. So what's the story with this one? And th this is... Um, batch three. Batch three. Yeah, we're back to 50-50 uh, pomegranate juice and water. Yeah. The change here is that in, in addition to a few drops of uh, orange flower water, yeah. we've also added a Middle Eastern product uh, called pomegranate molasses, which is... a Pomegranate molasses. Yes. This one actually calls itself intensive molasses, this, but this it's made of intensive molasses. <laughs> yes, usually it's called pomegranate molasses. Sounds like a, 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 a grunge band from the nineties. Yeah. I thought this was soy sauce. Oh uh, no, but it's uh, a. <laughs> I see in, in, in intensely. Oh, wow. Thick, rich. Yeah, this is a you know. There's a lot of pomegranate going on in this. But do you know what's interesting? But as I said, but this one felt the less, the most subtle. Yeah. And I would assume, like, you're like, hey, which which one is using the intensive molasses? I would have thought the second. Yeah. And uh, so apparently, re re you know, reducing down pomegranate juice produces a more dense uh, flavor than even the even, uh, pomegranate molasses. Interesting. So out of the three that you made, which mm -hmm. one do you like the best? Well, I'd have to say one, one in three. One in three. Um and the reason for that, well, three is the one I actually use for, for as, a, as a house grenadine. Okay. And the reason for that is that in in this, a, a, com, a fairly a complex tiki type punch, where you know, like seven eight ingredients maybe, yeah. um, you want a grenadine with a, with a really intense deep you know flavor that can that can, you know, can hold its own, because there are lots of other things going on in that drink. Yeah. And so to me, I I, I kind of veer towards. Uh, yeah, the subtlety and uh, and and a, a certain depth. This is uh, plenty good. I, I, I totally use that in a Jack Rose. Yeah. Well, you know, sort of bright flavor, simple drink, um, pops out at you well. Uh, they have different potential uses. Yeah. Let me ask you mm -hmm. this. So, say you are the differences between making a cocktail that has a lot of ingredients mm -hmm. or a cocktail that doesn't have as many ingredients. Where grenadine is one of those, mm -hmm. which one would you use for the other? So, say you're going to make a drink where, like, the drink there's a lot of it is mostly the grenadine and, and the, like the rum. Mm -hmm. Which one would you use? Or I'm thinking. So, say you're doing a drink that has a lot of ingredients, like say like a like a planter's punch. Yeah. I'm thinking maybe you want to use like the real the thick one because yeah. it's going to need to be able to have its presence in there. Yes. Mixed in with Not all the lost, other. Not Yeah. I'd I'd go to one of these two. Yeah, and and in, and in neither case are they going to add the pretty color that you get, say, for the uh, store brand. Yeah, that people expect. It's going to be a little, little darker, a little murkier, but because you just cannot get that with real juice. No, uh, you come you come close with this. Yeah. to some extent. Yeah, that's that's not bad, but it's still no. It's definitely more dark and purple. But yeah. Where this is more like bright red. It tastes a heck of a lot better though. Yeah. Well, speaking of that, so Toto, what, do you want to make us a cocktail? Sure. Let's stick with one drink, but let's make it with each different grenadine. Okay. And we'll see how they all work out. Yeah. How, how it tastes in a drink. Yeah. Do you have an idea of a drink you want to do? Sure. I was going to... Um, in the Grog Log, uh, uh, Barry has one called the Red Tide. And for if you want to try it... Taste, if you want to compare grenadines, it's a three-ingredient drink. So the red, the red tide. Red tide, yeah. And so they should. St it's essentially like a rum. Uh, that's like a rum uh, Jack Rose. All right. And cool. You're replacing the, the the Laird's apple brandy with rum. All right, awesome. We're going to start uh, making a drink with batch one. This would be the uh, David Wondrich style of uh, cold processed syrup, uh, where you don't cook the pomegranate juice. You just stir or shake it like hell with uh, an equal amount of, amount of sugar until it all dissolves. Uh, drink in question is going to be the Red Tide from Beach Bum Berry's Grog Log. It's a simple, uh, fresh lime juice, grenadine, grenadine, and Jamaican rum beverage. For rum, we'll go with Appleton. And our grenadine, let's see, half an ounce of that. 
and three quarters of an ounce of lime. And we have our first taste sample of a grenadine in a cocktail. Cheers. I love it. That's a good cocktail. To me, that's that's what I like to call an old school talk, uh, an old school tiki cocktail. Mm -hmm. This is something that I would order. This is. This is definitely very, very good. Um, yeah, and a very bright note from the grenadine in there. So we got the Appleton, yes. the lime juice, and the grenadine. And that's it. And that is it. It's great. Yeah. Um, let's try batch number two. Sure. Now, this was my least favorite out of all of them. And I'm not saying, don't get me wrong, they're all great. Mm -hmm. But this was the more rockier one out of all of them yes this is a, a, bat, a bat, batch two and it's so it's the pomegranate juice has been cooked con, yeah condensed cooked and and condensed down to half its original volume so it, it itself has actually become part of the syrup it's, it's a, yeah well let's try this yep cheers here's to you again okay now this is interesting mm-hmm this is actually smoother. This went down smoother than the first one. Yeah, very different character. Yeah, it's more subtle. It's actually, this actually tastes more refined. Which you wouldn't, didn't get at all drinking them straight. No. Oh, I am, I'm actually pretty shocked because this is, they're almost exactly different than what I thought they'd be. Yeah. It, how they play on their own and how they play in a drink or how they play in different drinks is it, it, all sorts of variables. I got to say, I mean, it's like, I think this is the better one so far. In, in a drink? Well, between these two. Okay. Yeah, this one tastes smoother. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, that was a, a, br a brighter kind of pop to it. In Interesting. A way. And we're back with um, batch three. Yes. And this was your favorite yes. grenadine to use. You were saying for most of the cocktails that you like to make. It's the house grenadine. You know, it would... House well, grenadine. Yeah, friend, friends and family tried, tried a number at one point or other, and this is the one that seemed to go the best. Our son uh, even even chose it, and, and Shirley as his go-to for Shirley Temples. Yeah. Well, let's give it a shot. Let's see yeah. how this tastes. Another red tide. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. This is my least favorite. Oh, ah, okay. So far. All right. Yeah. Interesting. I... It's still good, but... I don't know if I could taste the grenadine as much. Interesting. And you know what? I mean, now that I think about it, when, when I was tasting the grenadines by mm -hmm. themselves, that third one, this one here, was the most subtle. Yes. And in this drink, I don't taste the grenadine as much as I do in the others. Well, the difference is that, of course, batch two is double the pomegranate juice and it was cooked down. Yeah. This one, it's pomegranate juice equal in equal parts with the sugar and with an added uh, pomegranate molasses. Yeah, <laughs> let's try. <laughs> what are you calling it? Store brand X or whatever? Brand X, yeah, R round four. <laughs> All right, we'll see how this one turns out. Definitely looks thicker and brighter than the others. Yes. But let's give it a shot. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh, let me ask you a stupid question. Sure. Same same ratios. Yes. Right? Yeah. The crazy thing about this one is the grenadine completely overpowers everything. Yes. To yes. the point where I can't even taste anything else in it. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I hate to say this, but like, if I would, like, I like, I like the other three. Mm hmm I don't even know if I even like this. And even the aftertaste is just sort of like, Bleh. what are you thinking? Um, the aftertaste might be the chemicals, uh, but uh, yeah, it. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's kind of candy-like, isn't it? Like, uh, well, I usually like candy. I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. Um, uh, but yeah, this is definitely what a difference. Yes. I mean, we go from a 
from all three of the other ones that are enjoyable drinks and taste great to mm -hmm. like this where it doesn't even taste first of all the grenadine overpowers it all and it doesn't it's not even enjoyable mm. I mean do you even like it um, not particularly <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> it didn't uh, honestly it, 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 it didn't even it didn't, didn't smell right to when it was still in the bar can either it, it, uh, I, was, I was getting that uh, kind of uh, artificial cherry aroma rising from, yeah. from the ice <laughs> So there you go, one ingredient, grenadine. Yeah. Completely like, alters a drink that has, what, three ingredients yes. in it? Yes. So one from a drink that tastes great? Yeah. To a drink that I'm like, yeah, if I never have that in my life, I'll be okay. So just for the record, so yeah. this is, this is drink with Brand X. Yes. This okay. was batch three. Ba batch three, yeah. Definitely has a... A darker yes. col color. Yeah, you know, real pomegranate always will. For the most part. And this was number two. Yeah. Even darker, actually, it seems to me. Yes. That, uh, that's the intense uh, you know, cooked uh, cooked down juice one. And then the first one was. And then the uh, cold process one. I've talked with Blair Reynolds of yeah. BG Reynolds Syrups, and he says that he feels that the syrups make a big difference in how the drink tastes, and I believe it. I would say Blair is right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. This is this is proof positive. So there you go. Tom, thanks for having me on. Sure. Welcome. Now let's finish all these. Yeah. Uh, this is used uh, orange flower water to, to add a, a sort of a floral note. You know, a, a number of the recipes I've seen online. Dude, and this is this, this bottle's dirty. Oh, well, the inside is has... I'm glad you cleaned orange. up the bottle for the uh, show. <laughs> Absolutely. I can give it extra. Do you have a dirty rag we can lay down? Oh, you're right. There is some stuff on the outside. <laughs> okay. I thought it was just the uh, you know, sediment or... Because you know, the inside, it's got stuff in it, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, small salt and vinegar. <laughs> no, it isn't. No, I don't know. It's like uh, Hawaii, Hawaii chips, uh, they're jalapeno. Uh. Jalapeno. Jalapeno, yes. Yeah, that's not playing words. You know whoever came up with that name, they thought they were being clever. I'm sure they did. Guys, I got the name for my new chips. Jalapeno. Yeah, John, that's great. Hey gang, this is Tiki with Ray, and I just want to say thank you very much for checking out my video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more episodes, click on the subscribe button. And if you like the video, give it a like. That would mean a lot to me. And if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave a comment in the, uh, the comment section below.